Kaching! Kachow! Kapow! Ch-ch-ch-ch-pow! Kaching! Kachow! Kapow! Ch-ch-ch-ch-pow! Kaching! Kachow! Kapow! Ch-ch-ch-ch-pow! Hi there, this is Disney Cars Collecting Video Number 3 on the table. As you can see, I've got three beautiful Lightning McQueens. These two here came from the charity shop, uh, which are now collecting McQueens for me. But this one here came from a friend down the road who knows a look at toys on YouTube. The condition of these three Lightning McQueens is sort of similar. The one my friend down the road gave me has a mouthpiece that's a bit cleaner. I noticed the other two, uh, this malleable mouthpiece that moves, is a little bit affected by, what would you call it, plastic mould. One really nice aspect to these McQueens is, the, is their scale. They are actually a very large toy, and maybe the best way I can show that is bringing the beautiful die-cast Rusty's Metallic Lightning McQueen. You can just see how large the other McQueens are versus the die-cast. I'm telling you now, this Metallic Lightning McQueen here, there's a couple of different variations of it. Of course, this is the die-cast. Do not let them sit round, they will not be round for long. I know with the Lightning McQueen toys, anything half special is gone very fast, and I think they become fairly collectible. As for these toys here, well, for the fact I've got three of them, well, that's one thing that tells me that, well, they're fairly common. They've got this on the back here, and we'll see what that does once we put batteries in here. I notice I can actually manipulate the wheels, which manipulates the McQueen's eyes. Like we saw before, it's got that rubbery mouthpiece. If I pull this up, you can see McQueen's teeth. And one of the puzzles for me, looking at Lightning McQueen toys, is uh, for a very strange reason, they don't put the date of uh, the toy underneath here. All I can see is copyright Disney, Pixar, China, and some secret code. That's found at the front of McQueen, but also notice there is a code number here as well. And maybe someone can uncode that for me. Mind you, I noticed the number is different on all three McQueens, so all well, fat chance of trying to work that one out. These McQueens are battery operated, and the really nice part to all these McQueens is they didn't have batteries stored in them, so the battery compartments are all in really Mickey Mouse condition. And I can tell you what, it's a very rare thing to get three older battery operated toys come in without any leaking battery damage going on underneath. Very rare. Well, of course, I'll put some batteries into one of these toys. We want to see it working. I don't know the name of this toy. I do have a Thomas the Tank, which has got a very similar style, uh, what do you call it, moving face, rubbery face. And I'll be quite curious to see how this McQueen plays out. Yes, I know you're happy now. I know you're happy. Well, it's got a switch here. It's got a zero, an X on this side, and a one. What will I set it to? Maybe I'll set it to the, to the one, and we'll see what happens. What happens if I press this now? Whoa! Okay, I've just captured McQueen before he took a dive. This is a fully featured McQueen. If I... Ouch! Whoa, see that there? If I hit him on the front... Ouch! Not again! Oh, wow. It does a reverse back. What else do I have to hit on this thing? Because I haven't got constructions. Does it do anything else if I bang him Ow. around? I'm built for... Ouch! I must have taken the wrong exit. Wow, ooh. There he goes. So it certainly looks like if he gets a bit of damage, he reacts to the damage. Ouch! Oh. Yeah. That's a curious one, isn't it? I know if I give him a bit in the front. I'm built for speed, not slamming. Well, okay. This is a fantastic Lightning McQueen. I'm just going to put it up on a roll of tape so I can push the buttons on the back here to see how he plays. I think these are just talking quotes. Feel that wind! Yes! I am faster than fast. Yeah. You should change your name to Thunder, because Thunder always comes after lightning. Where's the nearest gas station? ka mm. ka Yeah, I think there are multiple things underneath winner, here. 41 losers. Uh, I think this one here, if I go like forward. this. That's all. Press go. And go, yeah. And then it'll do a forward move. I'm off. Yeah, this is a uh, McQueen that does it all. And I think it just keeps going. I think the button that sends him on a grand tour is this one here. Let's just see. Okay, backwards are going. He does his turn there, his eyes move as well. He's turning the other way. I make this look easy. His mouth is going. Oh, it's a fantastic tour, this one, I tell you. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, so the other buttons here, I'm not sure 
What that does, the powerful makes a horrible screeching sound. Reverse. Reverse right. Reverse left. Yeah. Forward right. Forward left. So I dare say you set a command right. and then you go go. And it should and do that. I'm off. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to work it out. such an impressive toy I tell you what and I'm very curious to see what goes on inside and I'll see if I can just pop the top off one of these other McQueens. Well I've taken out uh, about six screws underneath and I think this top bit can come off now I hope. There we go. Wow there's uh, certainly a lot of stuff going on inside there. If I get this part here free hopefully we'll get that whole top piece off. Maybe not. No, we're getting there. I'm starting. Oh, okay. Yep, we are getting it free. There's a couple of wires that go up up there somewhere. Hmm. But maybe we'll start to see what's going on clearly inside here. Well, that there is the control pad from the buttons on top of McQueen. We go along here, some circuit boards there. I'm not really into ele electronics. It doesn't... I can't tell you what that is. Uh, this is interesting the way they've done the puppeteering of this toy because if I manipulate the front wheels here... You'll start to see they've got all these connecting rods and fancy stuff that goes here and that actually sockets up to the eyes. So if I move that thing there, you can get puppeteering eyes, which I think is, well, fairly clever. <laughs> Whoever built this has done a fair bit of homework, I dare say. Uh, and up the front here, the mouth manipulation is also like a big puppet show in a sense, and that piece there... Uh, it was all sort of bound and encapsulated in that rubbery front piece. It's just really a giant, you know, like the McQueen puppet. Now I'm looking at the car here, the lightning bolt must do something because I notice in the car I've just pulled apart, there's wires that go up here uh, to that lightning bolt area. Not that I really saw it before, maybe I've got to turn the lights out. Uh, but nevertheless, looking inside here, uh, does tell me that this toy's had a fair bit of play, because look at the dust and stuff that's collected inside here. That's sort of the nemesis of toys, apart from our battery compartments, which have got leaking batteries. Yes, it's had a lot of play on a carpet, I dare say, this McQueen, but hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Now I see what's going on inside this toy. This wouldn't have been a cheap toy uh, when it was purchased. Uh, one query I've got is, imagine if it was an RC uh, Lightning McQueen, so instead of having the controls here, you had the controls up on the remote control, or is this too problematic? Maybe someone can explain that one to me. But if it was an RC Lightning McQueen those features, it'd be awesome. I have got some compressed air, and I will just carefully blow out the dust here. You probably won't hear me now. And what I will do is I'll attempt to uh, slap all this back together again. Mind you, I'll probably need, you know, a magic touch to get everything working. And the trickiest part is getting this uh, moving mouthpiece uh, back in the right spot. I think uh, I'll be able to pull this off, and I will put batteries in this, uh, just to double check to see if I have got it back together correctly. Just making sure the batteries are around the right way. And if I do kill McQueen, oh, the rage will be never-ending on my channel. Let's hope McQueen is going to work after that uh, surgery. Well, the switch there is uh, already set to one side. That's, I think that's where I had it on the other McQueen. Okay, here's the do-or-die bit. You're either going to love me or you're going to hate me from now on. Forward. Okay, if I press go, let's just see. And I'm off. Oh, yeah. Well, I think it's all working. Let's see if I get the eyes working. Now watch this move right here. Um, how do I do the eyes? I'm just going to hold it up and he's going to go on a tour. Yes, I've got the eyes working. Okay, he's, his wheels are turning. He's got his back wheels going as well. This look easy. Mouth is working. Yeah, McQueen is alive and he's clean. Thank goodness for that. The the hate rage from the McQueen fans would have been immense. Uh, but I'm glad I saw inside this toy because it was a curious look. I'm also going to try and clean up his uh, dirty little mouth here. Now I've gone and got something which basically cleans that. I'm not endorsing this brand. It's just something or well, some rubbish I had down in the workshop. And I think this will tidy up McQueen's face here. I'll just let that soak in for a little while. Okay, it's been on for a couple of minutes. Oh, that's right. 
He doesn't like being hit in the face, does he? It won't hurt McQueen. And I'll just give this a rub. Wow, he's looking a lot better already, isn't he? He's talking a lot. That's okay, McQueen. Wow, at least he's fully functioning. Oh, I think that's looking a thousand percent better. What do you reckon? Maybe I'll give the whole of McQueen a very light spritz and a nice rub over and he's going to look better. So there we go, McQueen fans. Uh, this one here is looking a thousand percent better now. It's had a nice uh, rub over with that product. We won't say the name. Of course, it still works. He goes... Yeah. Uh, this one here was the first one I put the batteries in. I gave him a nice wash, but he had a clean mouth anyway. And then while you were watching... If <laughs> McQueen could be quiet, this was the other one which had the mucked up face. I've cleaned it and detailed it, and now I've got three very spanky Lightning McQueens. Absolutely stunning toy. I will gently push these McQueens over to the side. Okay, the next two McQueens we're going to take a look at are these two McQueens right here. Maybe some of you recognize these two Lightning McQueens. They've got different eyes on them. Obviously, they have been well loved by the previous owners. There's nothing wrong with that. I love to see toys that have been well played with. To give you an idea of scale, there is the Cars 3 Rusty's uh, Metallic Lightning McQueen. You can see it's uh, bigger than that, isn't it? And what it's most similar in scale to is the larger die cast that was around in the original Cars film. In fact, if I line them up at the back there, there's a lot of similarity between those two cars there. Mind you, this one's metal, nice die cast, and this one's plastic, fantastic. This die cast here, it came by the charity shop. I spoke about this one back when I was doing a study of the McQueen change. It's got a broken up front axle there, a bit wonky in the front there. It's had lots of McQueen love, nothing wrong with that. But what's nice about these toys here is they've got a great pullback action. Let's see if I can get them to race. Okay, McQueen, go, go, go! Uh, McQueen's running straight off the table. I'll try and do that again and keep them on the table. We haven't said where these are from yet. Maybe some of you know. I'm just keeping a bit of a secret because sometimes these little cheap toys are the best you're going to get. Okay, I think they're primed and ready to go, McQueen! Oh! I just smacked down at the other McQueens. I've just jumped over to my iPhone 7 to get this in slow motion for you. Okay, go McQueen! And I'll just give one a go here, try and get it going straight for camera. Making the sound, the right sort of sound. Here you go, McQueen, go! Oh yeah, absolutely fun dynamic toy, and you'll get a surprise when I'll tell you where they're from. So let's take a look underneath one of these McQueens. There we go, 2006 Disney Pixar, manufactured for McDonald's Corp. It's a Happy Meal toy. Well, I must admit, I'm a bit of a Happy Meal toy collector. You don't need to buy the meal to get the toy in Australia. You can buy the toy by itself for $2. I hope that price hasn't changed. Uh, this is from a bit of a bygone era in a sense. I don't mind the fact it's got some McQueen love on it. I do like toys that come through like this, and I vaguely remember there were other characters as well uh, when they did these toys. Uh, but as for the fact why we've got two different eyes on these, uh, they are the same dates in a sense. Yes, maybe the, the real hardcore fans can explain that one to me. I've got a lot of time for Happy Meal toys. I'll let these guys drive off because they can. See you later, guys. Woo! And we'll move on to this new Cars 3 McQueen next. I do like this McQueen. Uh, what I liked about it was the price. It was a nice inexpensive toy in Australia and they well I'm calling them check out McQueens. Hmm. Yeah, it's a curious McQueen. It has got frozen wheels as in the wheels don't move but don't let that distract from it. It is slightly smaller in scale versus the die cast but only slightly. Hmm. Curious isn't it? What it is similar to in scale, there's a Hot Wheels car, but then again, well, I could argue the point that these two are becoming very similar in scale, but let's not go there in this video. Let me do an in-hand appraisal of this McQueen. Oh, yes, this was a $3 toy. I'm calling it the Checkout McQueen because, well, that's sort of where you find it. I'm not going to mention the store name because it may be available in multiple stores, and I might be silly just saying a store name and then leaving other ones out. It's a Cars 3 McQueen because the 95 is below the headlamp there. It's not really detailed in the back. Uh, underneath uh, it's got this tag. Let's take a read of this. If it's around the right way of course. And whatever that means there. Maybe people know that company or whatever. Blah blah. 
I did notice it's copyright Disney Pixar or some sort of manufacturing code there. I wonder if someone can uh, work that out for me. But for a little tiny El Cheapo toy, I tell you what, it's got a lot of McQueen magic going on. Now, what I like about this McQueen is, and you'll see soon, there's a whole bunch of other characters, but I saw these selling hard and fast. In a sense, they're one of the smaller, cheaper McQueens. It's got a nice shape. That's one thing about Lightning McQueens or Disney stuff I've noticed. I like to keep the shape right. Mind you, there are examples where they don't. Uh, what it's not like, um, there's a My, My Busy Books McQueen. Okay, and in a funny way, that's a very strange McQueen now I see that. I start to scrutinise it a little bit more. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I'd say it's more like a Hot Wheels scale. It's got frozen wheels. No, no Disney frozen tag, unfortunately. Uh, so it was $3 for this, as in a checkout toy. But then again, I could go and buy a Hot Wheels car in Australia. They're basically a $2 toy now. They've sort of come down in price. Because I think Mattel are trying to get the children to play with real toys again and not apps. Um, but then again, this toy here, it's actually a $9 toy. Okay, $3 McQueen? <laughs> $9 McQueen. Which one would you prefer? And this one's a little bit tricky to find. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it's a very nice McQueen. And what I noticed with this, before I show you the whole box of them and get you really excited, is I can actually quite easily pull this apart. Uh, with my strongish hands, and we can see sort of how it's made. Mm, look at that, I can get a subframe going there. Pull the nose bit off. Hope I can pull the nose bit off without really busting him up. Ah, ah, got it, okay. So there's his top shell. Yeah, it's got me thinking about ideas to do with that. Mm, <laughs> you know where it's going to go, don't you? <laughs> and there is the bottom frozen wheel bit. Mm. Now I'm sort of... <laughs> Here we go. This is this hasn't got frozen wheels, has it? Oh, I wonder if we could do some sort of marry up, eh? Oh, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Well, because I've just pulled one apart, let me pick out one from the back here. I think this one here. So, in a strange way, I see potential with these very cheap toys, like a mangle list, to be something that I want it to be. Now, another McQueen that it's sort of similar to, but not not similar to. That's a Pez. Uh, Lightning McQueen, you remember, maybe most of you don't know this, but way back in the very early days of my channel, I changed one of these to basically, basically a Lightning McQueen, a USB, blah blah. Uh, yeah, back in the good old days, hey? But there's nothing wrong with a Pez McQueen, fantastic. Um, I wonder if there's a Cars 3 version of it, that's the next question I've got. But what these really, really remind me of, and I know some of you will know where this is going, the Checkout Thomases. These were something from back in 2007. Uh, in Australia, they were everywhere at the checkouts. And, uh, wow, uh, people got right into these with umpteen different variations and characters of this. And uh, I'll show you the box that these guys came from because... Uh, I've got a sneaky suspicion, uh, toys like this, which are set at a low price, which look really decent, uh, sell really, really well. So here's a full box of them, the way I found them. On the side there, you can see Cruiser McQueen, the new team in a sense. Seven to collect, collectibles, cars three. And in the box here, you can see the divvy up of the characters. There are three Jackson Storm on the top layer. There are three McQueens, there are two Cruisers. Uh, there's that Sully there, and Mater. They're actually really nice looking toys. Remember, these are really inexpensive toys in Australia. Well, they're probably half the price if they are in the USA or overseas. I've forgotten his name. That's Sarge. Even the Sarge looks fantastic. You think, well, why, why, which characters would you have had there uh, versus the ones that you can see there? I think there's some logical things and some things that don't make, make much sense. Let me just get this top layer off carefully and we'll take a look at the bottom layer. Ooh, without... Disturbing the PC. Wow, look at them all wrapped up there. Look nice, don't they? Here we go. Ooh, plastic fantastic. Wow, there's a lot of McQueens on the bottom layer. Four, uh, two more Jackson Storms. Hope that's Sally. I know you'd be screaming at me. Two Cruisers. Another Mater. Um, whoever that is there, and Sarge. I can tell you this now, this sort of toy is going to sell hard and fast. I like it for the fact it's inexpensive. You're not getting like a stupid surprise egg or a sugar hit when you buy that. Let me just carefully get that top layer on there. Pushka. I'll just push that over there and I'll bring in my McQueen. And we'll take a look at the Jackson Storm, hey?
Okay, there's Jackson Storm. Uh, he's all about 2.0, next generation sort of thing. I shouldn't give you any spoilers. Well, I haven't seen the film, but mind you, I did have a sticker book that gave away the whole storyline. Very nice. Uh, at the right price, I could probably pick this apart. It's basically a vinyl toy. Yes, I could pick this apart, but I won't. But let me show you something I've done to the McQueen that I pulled apart that will excite you and looks far better than that. What excites me about these toys, it's got a nice vinyl, very soft top, and because it's nice and soft and you can manipulate it, you can turn it into things you want to have. It could be a McQueen puppet if you really want it to be, but we can do far fancier things than that. Because I've had children and my boy still likes to mash things together and mix and match things, I'm sure most people who've had children would notice that. This McQueen fits perfectly on a Thomas Adventures, a bit of rolling stock like that, a wagon. Okay, it's a nice fit. And then you can have a little Thomas the Tank and Lightning McQueen train. Well, sometimes it's those little cheap toys like that vinyl McQueen there that you can have the best amount of fun with. There's Thomas the Tank pulling along a Lightning McQueen wagon. You never see that on YouTube before. And it was so, so simple to do. Go, Thomas, go. Well, Thomas is still going here, and you're probably saying, oh, Leo, you can do better than that. Well, maybe we can. Very fast in this video here. I like the vinyl top McQueen. You can do umpteen things with this, apart from brush your teeth. What about a Monster Jam truck? I've taken the one screw out that holds on the top there. I'm going to put a piece of blue tack here. Not too little and not too much. Mmm, you know where this is going. My son's next to me. He's very excited in seeing this. And I can put that vinyl top McQueen on top here and if you put the right glue there you could actually join them together and there you go I've got a monster jam lightning McQueen and the sun's driving in Jackson Storm in beside there now that is uh, Toy Town Heaven Dad can you make a Jackson Storm monster jam truck? Uh oh it looks like I've started something <laughs> looks like I've started something well, the video is starting to get derailed, but uh, maybe I'll do a separate video of how I did this. So maybe you've seen enough. There's only one screw that holds the top of these on. And Dad, Phillips. Dad, yes, yeah. it's raining Jackson storms. Oh. Okay, the video has been derailed. And I remember some time back, but not too far ago, I, with the little mini Monster Jam, whatever they were, I did like the Thomas Minis on top of them. But I tell you what, I like this Vinyl McQueen. And that's why I like it, because you can... Easily turn it into whatever you want. Well, let me move all this stuff aside and we'll move on to something oh, maybe different, maybe not. Wooshka! Oh, before we can move on, uh, my son wants to show you this. He's so in love with his little vinyl Cars 3 toys, he's made like a 3D cover for his iPad, if that makes any sense. He's just put some blue tack underneath these guys here and they actually stick on quite well, so it's not permanent. Um, yeah, he likes these, and if he likes them, I'll tell you what, you're going to like it. I'm a bit curious what he's actually got on his iPad as a bit of a screensaver. Titanic. <sighs> Why? Another very simple thing I did was I put a very powerful magnet inside the Vinyl McQueen. I've got a magnet under my bench there, and I can puppeteer McQueen like that. And Jackson Storm can come along and kiss McQueen on cue, thank you. And uh, you can have... Oh, now the magnet's stuck to the bench underneath. <laughs> McQueen's getting battered by Jackson Storm. Don't be so rough on me. Okay, I've said enough. Let's really move on. Righto, on the table there. It came from the charity shop. Uh, my first thought when I saw this one, it was a shake-and-go racer. I know that uh, they were done in the cars' cars. Although it's got a button on top here. It looks like it might have a light coming out the front there. It is Tomata, and it's got some nice detailings, although it is quite a basic toy, obviously made for younger children, although it does not disappoint. It obviously is Mater. Underneath here, I can see it is licensed to Disney Pixar 2010 Mattel. I also see it's a Fisher-Price toy, so it's going to be a quality toy. Let me just put some batteries in this and uh, see what it does. I do believe it makes a sound because it's got like that speaker area there. Battery compartment looks clean. And this toy takes those AAA batteries that I'm not a fan of. I much prefer toys that use double A's. The problem for me is because I get these toys without instructions and boxing, and often they don't put any info of what the toy is, I've got to try to work out what I can yeah, do. Okay, obviously it's a talking toy. It's got the light working. Is it a shake and go thing? I think you got to let them sit for a bit and then they go, or is it does nothing? 
Uh, I, mm, I thought it was a moving toy. Maybe I'm not pressing the right thing or hitting it hard enough. Mind you, I think if it's a shake and go racer, there's another button under here that tools the toy when it's down on the deck. Come on, come to life, mate. Talks a lot, though. Um, but it isn't moving that much. Well, I've tried to manipulate this wherever I can. I've tried to push things on the front, tried to make it do wheel things. All I can make it do is that we see a light. It doesn't have many phrases. Hmm. Okay, maybe we've seen enough of this matter. Uh, good night, sister. Okay, the next one's uh, obviously Lightning McQueen. It's a bit of an odd bod thing, and I've had to look at this one very carefully. Uh, I'm hoping it's licensed, and I say that because, well, I'm not seeing any wrong stickers on it. And we'll take a look underneath soon. Not that that's going to really tell us much more about this toy. Uh, but I've got a sneaky suspicion it's a real McCoy toy in the sense that it's a licensed Disney toy. I hope I'm correct there. Let's take a look underneath this tin toy. Yes, uh, it's missing that piece there. I'm suspecting this is a novelty piece from Easter time or something. It's got a bit of a read here. And up near his back end it says there, Tin Structure Painted and maybe the licensing info was on this piece here that's missing. I'm coming in nice and close because it's a, a larger toy. We can read all those sponsors there nice and clearly. And there's something which is really important to read. I finally found it. There it is there. Copyright Disney Pixar. Thank goodness. I quite like this one because it is unusual and I like odd bod things. I notice I can also pull this part of the toy away. That is the wheel set. Uh, so the top is free. Maybe that was the way it was operating when it had whatever was inside it. But my gut feeling is it's a novelty something McQueen. It's been knocked around a bit. The wheels do roll on that uh, base part. And if I do put it back together, what I notice is that uh, the metalwork basically fouls with the wheels. So it's sort of a little bit nafto. But then again, it's also sort of nice as well. The next Disney car in this Cars collecting video is Finn McMissile. You may think it looks like metal, but no, no, it's actually plastic. It does have a pullback action. Okay, it's got a rubber tire on the back there. And to give you an appraisal of the condition of this toy car, it's fairly knocked around. That's missing its rear vision mirrors. I think they're on the front there. It is, well, a Disney Pixar thing, but there's no date under here. I would assume it's from Cars 2. Um, being plastic fantastic uh, doesn't really impress me. And the scale of it, if I bring in that beautiful die cast there, you can see it's uh, actually quite a nice size, uh, but because I don't know my cars, I can't tell you its scale. It's uh, nice, uh, but it'd be much nicer if it was a metal car. Um, I suppose there's quite a few variations of Finn McMissile getting about. I know the die cast had a few variations of him. We'll let him drive away by himself because he can. There he goes. <laughs> Bit of that cluster, but he's went. And I've got the king here. It's a nice die cast um, model of him. A little bit knocked around, the eyes, as you can see, are the ones that uh, move. I think I've got a McQueen that does that, but I think it may be a plastic one. This is uh, die cast. Um, underneath there, no, there's no data, it just says Disney blah blah. I have noticed that when I look at the Disney Cars toys, they seem to be a lot more banged around than when I look at the Thomas toys that come through from the charity shop. I wonder what that's saying to me about uh, Cars fans versus Thomas fans. Hmm, maybe the audience can enlighten me on that one. We'll let the King drive away and hopefully he won't crash into... Thin McMissile, the next toy we're going to look at, I better get the camera back because it's a little bit bigger. Well, apart from just having the Queen here, uh, along with it came Sheriff, but one thing I've noticed straight away is that Sheriff is in pretty good nick. I can't see much play wear and tear on that, versus looking over McQueen here, he looks like he's had a lot of McQueen love. What's nice about these two is they came with their rip cords to power them, so often I'll see these and they haven't got that part. Uh, underneath it just says Disney Pixar, it's not even worth taking a close up on, there's no year date or anything on this, I could ass only assume this is from the first film, please correct me if I'm wrong, and uh, I'll just give him a rip spin on the bench here. When I was very young we had a toy like this called SSP Racers, I think that's what they were called, they were like dragsters, but they had this rip cord thing, and this is what this car's like, now the secret to these is, you hold them at the front here because this wheel's going to go mad when I pull this rip cord, okay here we go. Love the sound. Whoa! 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 These things are maniac. 
Finlick missile was trying to feature again, but what we were talking about was these ones here. They're probably called ripcord racers or something. Uh, they have got little wheels in the back here because they will do wheelies, but the main thing they do is they'll spin around like crazy as part of their trick as well. The secret to these is if you do see them, uh, make sure they've got their rip cords. I so often see these at garage sales sitting there by themselves uh, without that component there. And uh, it's nice to have two of them there, uh, both with their rip cords ready to play. I'll push those aside gently. And I was going to move into showing you this McQueen here, but what I might do is uh, lay out my Lightning McQueen collection on the table here to show you how it's going. Just give me a moment to set it up. It's a funny thing about collections, they can often start with one thing, you might see something on special in the stores at the right price and then you see another one, another one. This collection of Lightning McQueens hasn't come to me as naturally as the Thomas the Tanks. The bulk of the collection here has come via the charity shop, uh, who also collects from me Thomas the Tank. But a lot of the toys as well have come from the stores, if I see them at the right price or if I think it's a special McQueen, I will come in and buy it. Now, one thing I've learned about Lightning McQueen is that if it is a semi-special variant of Lightning McQueen, well, guess what? It doesn't stay on the pegs for very long in the shops at all. It seems to be an extremely popular toy. It's also a very, very awesome toy to collect. Really awesome. So what do you think of my Lightning McQueen collection? There are some of these Lightning McQueens which look totally awesome. There are some of them which look... A little bit underdesigned, a bit strange. Some of them, I think, are very easy to find, while others, uh, I know, were very tricky to find. The one thing my collection starts to paint for me is which cars are hard to find, which cars are very common. Uh, I think we saw those talking cars in this video with the buttons on the back. They're fairly common because I had three of them. And down on the table there, you start to see what I've got a lot of and what I have got very few of. Uh, other cars which are common, of course, are the rip tear ones and the rip cords out the back, of course. If I see cars at the right price, I've, I've bought these myself, even little metallic ones, uh, like in between films, the cars, cars are always popular. This one here, now I see this, this is a vinyl one, very similar to the vinyl one we saw in the collector's pack in this, in this video. Uh, this is a Christmas decoration one, and I believe, it's, oh, it's a different design, but I believe I could pull that apart as well. It's very similar to... If I just drag the camera over here, these ones here from the ones that I pulled apart. Okay, of course you can't keep your eyes off that completely stunning Cars 3 Lightning McQueen's there. I never did a review of these, I like little transforming ones. I have got a, well, another one which is in carton, but look, he likes to roll around. You, I haven't transformed them, I should do, shouldn't I? I like ones like this, um, even though it's damaged, and I'll just show you this. Okay, do you remember that one from the other collecting video? Doesn't matter how they come to me as long as they're in McQueen. Of course, the Pez are there. Uh, these ones here were on sale in Australia in Woolworths for memory. I think they're about a dollar a car. There's a couple of different variations of it. That was the packaging there. And if I see a cheap Lightning McQueen, and lots of them, I'll try and pick up a few for my collection. Uh, because I did toy reviews on YouTube, uh, I like to keep some examples in box. I'm not really that keen on keeping cars in box, but this one here, I only found one of these, and I think it's a very impressive transformation McQueen. This is another one that I only found really one of, so I'm scared to pull it out, but I do like to keep a couple of examples in box. Uh, but you know, it doesn't, I don't know. I prefer to see them out on the table. I know you can have a huge argument point over that. As for the diecast, or should I say plastics here and then diecast further on, the divide is the primer McQueen here. These are plastic ones here. A lot of these came from play sets. Uh, the, some of them are those specialty ones which have got little different features and stuff. Uh, some of them are the colour changes, but I think the, a few of these oddbod ones came from play sets. I don't know why in the play sets they pack a plastic McQueen. Maybe someone can answer that. From here on, are uh, your die casts and there's a bit of car, I can see the cast room on cost 95 is under the headlight going along here there seems to be umpteen different variations of this uh, character, quite amazing uh, that's a very nice one isn't there's one of those which is out of packaging, I prefer toys when they're like that because at least you can pick them up and touch them and appreciate them properly, going up further there's my custom one there, the, my Crash McQueen, a lot of people like that but then again a lot of people didn't like it Going up here further and in, of course, there's another special one there, which is in box. I might do a crash zoom there. Boom. Okay, and I've got another one of the nice metallic ones there in box. Over the back there uh, was a, a whole box of them I found in Kmart, and I've actually unboxed one layer of it. Excellent McQueens, those ones. Really, really nice. 
I've been noticing that those sets there have been selling really well. Uh, make sure you try and get the full set of six. Yes, there's ones like this, but there's a new variant of that one around, which I haven't got out of box yet. I've got, there are some of the McQueens I've got which aren't on the table here. This is one from that very cheap toy I bought from Costco. It's one of the, well, strangest little McQueens in a sense, but hey, people still love it. That's one of the bigger ones that I've got, and I've got the story behind that one. There's some really odd bod ones here. Uh, that toy there, there's only one toy in there. It's a bit of a trickster because it's got another character next to it. You pull it and it's sort of got like one big wheel on it. I think it was a bit of a failed toy, but I shouldn't say that because it's not nice to say something failed. Uh, I was almost going to um, pull this out of box. It says Holiday Edition Lightning McQueen blah blah and it's like in an egg and you can't see what's in there so maybe someone can enlighten me to uh, what's going on. Is it just a standard McQueen that they've um, tried to make special or what's going on? Is it a bit of a trickster McQueen? I'm always a bit suspicious of that. But in the end, I think uh, hopefully what I've got on table here is going to blow your mind. I know one person who, whose mind is blown by it, and that's my son is knocking right beside me. Now what is curious, the McQueen he reached uh, for, first off was this transforming McQueen. Maybe you can do a transformation for me. Don't bang it on the table, transform it. You know, the, I think the secret is you go... It's not a puzzle, it's a transforming... <laughs> It's probably cute actually, it's transforming McQueen. We've just uh, lost a wheel on this, maybe that's why they were selling him really. Oh, there's bits falling off this everywhere. God. Ma oh, what is this thing? It's a creepy toy, like maybe from 3EM. Uh, let me guess, I've actually got one of those in box, just be careful with that. I don't like the way this thing's falling apart. It's a, not it's a hatching, it's a hatching McQueen. Let me show you the box. Oh, look, it's falling apart in front of us. It's, it's a knockoff. It's not a knockoff, it's actually a real toy. What? I just put that wheel back in there. Now, just very carefully open that up. Uh. Okay. This looks like one of the fidget toys. Like it's not a fidget toy. No, no. It's just um. They're Wait, called Hatchin like... Heroes. I'm just looking over my shoulder there. Hatchin Heroes. Maybe we need to. Just you yeah, don't. Oh yeah. Okay, you got it now. Come on, come Hatching on. Hatchin Heroes. Mm -hmm. A click sound. And okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Let, yeah, it's a wheel that came off before. That's... Man, that's not a very pretty McQueen. Maybe the audience can tell me something what they think about that toy there. I don't like the way the bits were coming off that very easily. Look. Yeah, it's got a moving mouth. Plus, like, it's not straight. That no. bit is not straight. Well, there you go. My son has condemned that McQueen and so have I, actually. This is what they look like. They're really, really... I think they were a $3 toy. Okay, and I, I, maybe I should have had a bit of a, you know, wake-up call. In fact, there's a picture of it there. It is, oh, man. It is a legit toy. Hatch and Heroes, Bandai. Oh, it's not a Mattel toy, hey? I'll say no more. It also had uh, Sheriff. also had The King. Okay, and for some stupid reason, I don't know why, I've got two Maters. Yes, um, I've got two of the McQueens. Yes, they were three dollars. There it is underneath there. I'm not really that keen on keeping those, I'll be honest here. And you're going to put that back to hatching for me, or okay. to an egg? Now he's worked out how it works. Wait. Wait for it. <laughs> if I can keep the camera on it, it's going to be tricky. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Bandai Done. toy. Okay. Hmm, maybe the audience can have their say on that toy because if I say any more, I'll get into lots of trouble. Uh, well, it's funny, you get some you get some really nice toys and other ones that I well, just turf off the table. And yeah, the, um, I found another one of those. There we go. It just never stops, does it? Put it over there. And now my son's here, this video's going, hey, well, I've lost my nice line of uh, die casts here. Yeah. I've just opened up that one there. I'll have one Fine. as a McQueen and one left as a hatched one, or should I say an egg. Be careful, don't bust off the wheel, they has got the hand of it now. Okay, you're right there. Yeah. Yeah. Pull and down and... There you go. And turn his little... Yeah, I'm just going to leave him asleep. That wire looks like... Mm, that's where you, you ripped the wheel off, didn't you, last time? Yeah, snap, snap. Okay. Now he's asleep, now he's awake, get wrecked. Yeah, well, actually now... Now I'm looking at this again, I'm starting to like, what was with the mouth thing? It's got a, it's got a moving yeah. mouth, hasn't it? 
Yeah, get yeah. wrecked. Oh, it's just been ripped. You just ripped it in half. That's not nice. Can you put that back together, please? Come on, put him back together. It's not. Oh, there you go. He's on the floor. After some very frustrating daddy moments, so I have been able to get that one back together. I'll just put it back of its de-evolved version of itself. Now I'm going to ask my son uh, which of the McQueens on the table here does he like the best. I want you to choose one only. I'm going to give you some good time here to look over those McQueens on the table. Just choose one that you really, really fancy. Um, Let me help you. Do you like metal cars or do you like plastic cars? Metal. Okay, well that's uh, half the decision range then. Do you like ones that look a bit abstract or do you like them look like classic McQueen? Uh, abstract. Abstract, okay. He's made his choice, but he's going to choose three cars. Hmm, what's he going to choose? Um, okay, these are the three that he's chosen. Two of them are actually metal. He may have been a bit confused. One of them's plastic. Now, tell me the reason why you like each of these three. Starting with that McQueen there, what do you like about that McQueen? I like it because it's got its tongue out. Mm hmm And yeah. Okay, it's got its tongue out. And he can lick that. Okay, <laughs> so what do you like about this McQueen here? Because it looks like it's wrecked in here, yeah, like yeah. Mm. Looks like it's being a few burnt in yeah. here. Yeah, he does look burnt, doesn't he? It's funny that children like things that have been wrecked. Plus, now, this next one is actually a daddy custom. What do you like about this Lightning McQueen that's from Cars 3 here? Do you, do you remember when, like, in the advertising, like, they they have, like, Lightning McQueen getting crashed, and then he, yeah, that bit, um, it kind of looks like that. He's supposed to be sad, though. All, clo all his eyes closed. Hmm, they're the three my son chose. I'm just going to choose, I'll tell you what, I'll choose two that I like and I go, oh, you know where I'm going to go, don't you? Oh uh, yeah, this one here. Okay, number one, bang. Okay, I like this McQueen a lot. It is completely stunning. I candy McQueen, that one there. And the next one I'm going to choose, oh, where am I going to go? My other choice is actually still in box. It's this one here. My son just pointed out to me that there's a mistake in the packaging here. You like, want to explain see? it? Like, yep. see, that's going from the front. Yeah, blue to it, red, and then on the picture... Like, it's dun, coming dun, from the back. It's reversed. So, yes. Um, stunning, stunning McQueen, that one. It's one of those ones you can't keep your eyes off, and that's why I chose double it. Double lick. Double lick. Yeah. <laughs> They're my two. Double lick. And my double son's lick. just chosen another one. He saw the pack of six, in a sense, up the back corner, the newish ones, in a sense. He likes this one here. There you go, it's got a, the tongue. And we can see if it's the old style, it's the old style because it's curved there. Okay, so it's curious to see these toys out with Cars 3. And the Cars 3 cars, well, I've got an example over here. Okay, they're squared off at the back here and there's less metal in this design, but hey, lick, lick, it's still a very, lick, very cool looking lick. McQueen. I'm very pleased that I've got all my McQueens up on table here. There are some in the garage here that I haven't put up on table because they're caught up Lick. in packaging still. Uh, what is amazing is out of only uh, three films and a couple of tunes, I should have said like three films with two fingers, uh, we've got all this variety of toy. But in the end, you know what this is about? The films are about, it's about selling what's on the table there. What are the films about there? It's about selling... Toys! Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, I'm very naughty. I've just found some more, and it's an important one to add to my collection. That's a Micro Drifter Lightning McQueen there. Great little toy. Had a little uh, ball bearing underneath, but what I found... Man, it's from a bygone era now. Uh, Squinky Lightning McQueens. Yeah! There may be some people out there who don't know Squinkies. They came in like a ball like that. They were a very small collectible toy. Uh, they were around before the trash packs were around. And what we had a saying was any toy that was small, squashy, and collectible, uh, I always, always used to refer them back to squinkies. And I used to say, does a toy have any squink? That is like the squashiness of it, was I used to call it a squinkiness. Yes, and I think that that there, or those ones there, are the smallest Lightning McQueens in my collection. And how's this for a double ending, triple ending special? You remember I had that one in box there? Well, when I found the squinkies in the same box, look what I found here. Another Lightning Storm, Lightning McQueen, but it's in slightly different packaging. You remember the good old days of Collecting McQueen on the back there? Well, because I've got two, I can pull this one out of the box. Yeah. Nice and gently, of course. 
normally I use a rubber chicken, but I'm fearful the chicken would kill all my McQueens on table here because the chicken goes to the maniac. Oh, wow, we can get a good look at this toy now. Ooh, yeah. It's really, really nice. Wow, that's why I like to get toys out of the box because you get to see them nice and clearly. What a spectacular McQueen, hey? Wow, lucky I've got two of them. Lucky I've got this one out of box. It's a bit of a strange McQueen. Apart from its colour, it's like a flash in the pan daydream moment he has. Uh, yeah, it doesn't drive along the ground here because he's got a stack of missiles underneath there. But nevertheless, it is a very, very cool looking Lightning McQueen. Just as a bit of a funny end bit, my son left this piles of cars here. And he said, Dad, make this the thumbnail. Do you think a thumbnail like that would work? If you're done, press go.